Right now it's 40 degrees Celsius, it's so hot. But with all the heat, our dirt road that we have to get out of here, it's about, about six kilometers long, it gets super dusty. So this time of year, you actually notice a lot of our cars are even more dirtier than normal. Thankfully, we've actually done a lot of research over the years. So in this video, we're gonna show you some tips about how to keep your car nice and, nice and clean. Hopefully you enjoy the video. My name is Ethan and welcome to Car Creations. I just bought all this stuff for car cleaning. Cool little foam gun here and Way too many mics probably cloths, but hey, they're on sale, so why not, right? Anyways, I need the pressure washer, and I looked at it, and uh, fuel line's broken. Here, I'll show you. As soon as I put gas in it, it just started leaking everywhere. Anyway, I pinched it off, and I phoned my buddy in town, who works at uh, Small Engines Repair Place, and he said they've got uh, all the fuel line there that I'll need. It's kind of annoying, because it's... Such a beautiful day. Anyway, let's go for a uh, cold start. By cold start, I mean like 32 degree start. <laughs> Okay, so status update. On my way into town, tire light comes on again. It just came on the other day and uh, tire's down again. So nothing can ever be simple, can it? So I left it at Kel Tire and uh, hopefully it turns out well. Oh, watch out for cars. Don't get hit by cars, kids. So I'm currently walking over to the Superstore. I'm gonna grab a drink. It should be fun. If fun, I mean slightly annoying, but at least it's a beautiful day. Okay, so they didn't really have what I wanted. They didn't have the pure leaf stuff, but they had this stuff. Anyways, back to check on the car. $24 later, better than a new tire, that's for sure. Back on route again to get the gas line for the pressure washer. Okay, so I got the fuel line from Savoy, and I uh, guess I gotta go home and clean the car, finally. Man, your car is dirty. All right, so we found out the pressure washer that we want to use is actually super broken, we can't even turn it on. So what we're gonna use is a attachment for the end of the hose, and hopefully that does a little bit better than just putting your thumb on the end. Here kitty, she's not interested in me. Ooh, look at this. It's all cow patties. It's so heavy. Ah. It's got the water on it, that's why. Right, so he's gonna pull the car onto there. You have about four feet in the front. So step one, rinse. Oh look, here's a bucket. He puts a hole through the end of a bucket. If you think it's not coming off, don't worry. That's what the uh, cloth is for. Tire shine, specific rim cleaner. This is to get any stubborn bugs off. 
This is for fallout cleaner, which is the little iron bits that get on your paint and go orange. This is the foam gun. This is the foam for it. This is degreaser for the engine bay. This is some quick wax. You can really do, you can actually do like a clay bar and full thing, but I'm not doing that. It's just gonna be a quick wax. Microfiber towel is definitely an essential. A mitt. I probably have 10 flies on me all at the same time. It was a wet spring, so there's tons of flies and mosquitoes and nastiness. I'm just gonna spray some of this bug and tar remover here. Just look to let it sit there while I rinse the rest of the car. Then when I go through here, I'll rinse it off. Spray it over anywhere you see bugs. That pretty much dissolves the main part of them. Agitating the foam right now and moving the moving the dirt around a bit so it comes off easier. Yep. You don't need to scrub, just gently go over top. If there's any areas that need more scrubbing, just leave it for now, and that's where more rinsing and stuff will come in handy in the future. This is fallout cleaner. You spray it onto all these little rust spots. Right there. There's some all up over the top there. See anywhere where it hits the, the rust stuff, it goes purple. You have to wait a few minutes, three to five minutes it says. The car is bleeding. Oh, yeah. So I have here a rim cleaner, so we're just going to spray it all over, generously, and then we're just going to wipe it all down, making sure we get in all the cracks. Okay, so I was about to come to the engine with this foaming cleaner and engine degreaser, but the engine's too hot. You need to wait for your engine to be fully cooled, or else if you pour water on it, you'll crack the block and then there's a very, very, very sad day for you. So. What have we done in total today then? So we're just gonna give it a one final just rinse and then I'm gonna put some of the quick wax on there. Just rub it all over with a microfiber cloth. Well, first let it dry and then do that. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be good for now. So just remember this isn't a full detail. This is just, uh, let's get your car nice and clean. And it should, like it's taken us just over an hour with less cow pies and mud. It'll take you a lot less time. Okay, I've decided that it'd be a wise idea to use one towel for the application and the other one for polishing. That's the word. Different colors though, that way you know which is which. And do one panel at a time. So I've already done the hood. Now I'm gonna work on the front bumper. All right, so that is absolutely everything. We have rinsed off the car, put soapy water. We got eaten alive by every manner and breed of bugs you can imagine. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm currently getting lost in a rainforest of sting nettle. That's how we make sure that we try to get our cars a little bit clean from being on a nasty dirt road. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for plenty more content to come. Can do and when you find a nice tender leaf careful grab it give it a pull and once you have it in your fingers so you fold it in half and you put it between your teeth you make sure you bite it that way the 
um, the little spikes on it don't put nasty zinc nail stuff in your mouth. And it actually tastes good. It tastes kind of like uh, lettuce or like uh, if you ever had beet leaves in your salad. Kind of tastes like that. It's kind of good.